Hail the Judge, 1994, is a Chinese comedy film directed by Wong Jing and stars Stephen Chow, a legendary figure in Hong Kong cinema known for his slapstick and surreal humor. The film combines elements of comedy, drama, and martial arts, with a period setting in the late Qing dynasty. It revolves around themes of justice, corruption, and social satire, all brought to life through Chow's signature comedic style. Plot Summary Stephen Chow plays Pao Lung Sing, a descendant of the famous Judge Bao, who is remembered for his integrity and unyielding sense of justice. However, Pao is initially a stark contrast to his ancestor. He is a bumbling, greedy magistrate who accepts bribes and has little respect for the law. Pao's corrupt ways soon get him into trouble when he fails to solve a critical case, leading to his fall from grace. The story takes a turn when Pao meets a young widow named Qi Shuling, played by Cheng Man, who is framed for the murder of her husband by a powerful and corrupt nobleman. Now disgraced and stripped of his rank, Pao sees this case as his opportunity for redemption. With the help of his loyal servant, played by Ying Mantat, and his wits, Pao sets out to clear Qi's name and expose the real culprits. Along the way, he transforms from a corrupt official into a fearless advocate for justice. Performances, Stephen Chow delivers a masterclass in comedic timing and versatility. His portrayal of Pao Lung Sing is both hilarious and touching, as he transitions from a clownish figure to a more serious hero who finally embraces his legacy. His performance is full of exaggerated physical comedy, witty banter, and slapstick moments, but underneath the humor, there's a journey of personal growth and redemption. Ing Man Tat, as Pao's loyal sidekick, provides a wonderful comic foil to Chow. Their on-screen chemistry is impeccable, which is no surprise given their long history of working together. Chung Man, who plays the wronged widow, brings a sense of vulnerability and grace to her role, contrasting the film's otherwise chaotic energy. Direction and Script, Wang Jing, known for his knack for creating entertaining yet meaningful films, manages to strike a balance between comedy and serious social critique. While Hail the Judge is packed with farcical situations and over-the-top characters, it also touches on themes like corruption, injustice, and the abuse of power. The script is tightly packed with witty dialogue, full of puns and wordplay, much of which is enhanced by Stephen Chow's fast-paced delivery. There are also plenty of absurd scenarios, such as exaggerated courtroom scenes and ridiculous legal procedures, which satirize the inefficiency of the justice system. These moments are not just for laughs, they underscore the moral decay in society and the challenges of being a righteous person in a corrupt world. Humor and comedy style, the humor in Hail the Judge is pure Stephen Chow, surreal, slapstick, and at times, cartoonish. The film doesn't hold back on absurdity, with exaggerated facial expressions, choreographed gags, and rapid-fire jokes. Chow's ability to switch between being silly and serious within seconds keeps the audience on their toes. While many of the jokes are universal, some rely on a good understanding of Chinese culture and history, which adds an extra layer of enjoyment for viewers familiar with the context. For fans of Cantonese cinema, the film also has several in-jokes and references to other films and historical figures, particularly regarding the legacy of Judge Bao, the famous upright official from Chinese folklore. Cinematography and set design, the film's period setting is captured through elaborate costumes and set designs that depict the late Qing dynasty. Although the budget for Hail the Judge wasn't particularly high, the filmmakers managed to create a believable historical backdrop that blends seamlessly with the comedic narrative. The courtroom scenes, in particular, are visually memorable, with the chaos and confusion exaggerated by the fast-paced editing and camera work. Action and martial arts, although primarily a comedy, Hail the Judge doesn't shy away from action. There are a few well-choreographed fight scenes that showcase Stephen Chow's martial arts skills, though these are often played for laughs. The fight choreography is fast and fluid, with exaggerated moves that align with the film's comedic tone. These scenes break up the narrative nicely and add to the film's entertainment value. Themes and social commentary 
at its core, Hail the Judge is a satire of the legal system and a critique of corruption in both government and society. It shows how justice can be manipulated by those in power and how difficult it is for ordinary people to seek redress. How Lung Sing's journey from corrupt official to a figure of integrity is a metaphor for the possibility of redemption, even in a flawed system. Why it's a good movie, Hail the Judge stands out as one of Stephen Chow's best comedic performances, blending humor, action, and heart. While it delivers plenty of laughs, it also offers a meaningful message about justice and morality. The combination of Wong Jing's direction and Chow's comedic genius makes this film a timeless classic in Hong Kong cinema, it's a film that doesn't take itself too seriously, but still manages to say something significant about society and human nature. Conclusion, with its well-crafted comedy, memorable performances, and underlying social commentary, Hail the Judge proves to be more than just a laugh-out-loud film. It's a sharp satire of the justice system, wrapped up in Stephen Chow's zany and irresistible comedic style. The film's combination of period drama, slapstick comedy, and martial arts action makes it an entertaining and rewarding watch, whether you're a fan of Chow or new to his films.